Hello and welcome back to Charlie's Diary guys this is Justy and today I am giving away my excel sheet which I use to train my players which is known as individual training manager so today I am giving away that sheet to all my subscribers and viewers uh, simply because I reached a uh, thousand subscribers okay so before that I want to thank one special person for helping me achieve this milestone who is none other than Iceman and uh, you know a few months back when I went to him with this idea he kind of helped me in so many ways like whenever I upload a video he comes back with a few messages uh, telling me all the flaws that that video had and he kind of you know made sure that I made those changes and which is why uh, I was able to achieve this milestone in a span of three months so I thank him from the bottom of my heart and I have also left a link for a discord server you guys can follow it because it will help you with your game by another mile okay so do that and uh, I want to thank you so you also guys uh, for the amazing love and support you guys have shown okay so with this excel sheet you know this is kind of a password protected sheet simply because you know this sheet uh, has a lot of layers and if any value is you know um, is tampered then the whole sheet becomes useless so that is why this is password protected and I will give you the password when that section comes okay now the first sheet what you see is the setup sheet and what you have here is your training levels uh, all the training levels that you have in your training sheet is actually shown here okay you have all the drills and based on what kind of training level you are in you can put that here if you are uh, you know um, uh, if you are a level one if you are a level two you can put level two if you are a level three you can put level three if you are a level four you can put level four and of whatever levels you are it is given there okay uh, uh, level four is a world-class drill level three is a pro and level two is a semi-pro and level one is an amateur okay and then you have uh, two more columns here which is your condition loss points and your experience points so the uh, condition loss points is, is still at work but the experience points is actually kind of completed so you can work with that okay and the next sheet is your player stats okay in this all the yellow columns what you see uh, you can actually add your details there in only in the yellow columns you can add the details because like I mentioned earlier uh, any change in values or the expressions or the formulas that I've used can actually tamper this whole sheet so that is why I have protected it uh, so if you guys want the unprotected sheet I am happy to give it to you just contact me for that and uh, I will be happy to give you that okay so you can enter all this value in these yellow columns whatever you have and what you see now uh, is a quality converter okay so based on the quality you have or the percentage you have you can convert it to either quality or quality can be converted to the percentage as well vice versa provided you add the correct club level there okay if you add your correct club level you will get it accurately and if you have a 150 percent quality uh, at a level of 21 then it means that you have a 200 percent team which is not there it's only up to 180 uh, so you know likewise okay so the 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 basic idea is that it works with team as well as with players okay now then you have to add your correct club level there okay and uh, with the club level you can actually uh, make out those you know fine changes whatever you want you can actually pre-plan and do accordingly okay now my club level is 21 so I have added 21 there based on that okay and on the right side you can see this this is the 180 percent uh, drill column okay so the 180 percent rule is automatically added there and you can see a few red columns there it means that uh, if you train uh, with the red whatever is in red if you train with that drill then it is useless you will not gain any skills at all okay so now I'm going to add some random numbers okay based on the um, what do you call uh, you know any player 
okay i'm just adding a few random numbers just to give you an idea of how this works and you know how the sheet actually works so i'm just going to add a few uh, random numbers for the player stats and that will actually give you the idea you can see the numbers on the right side is actually changing so that it means that the 180 percent rule is actually automatically calculating and you just have to look at it okay i will explain what this is so in this you know you can see that uh, when when I added the numbers have changed so in past go and shoot you can see that you know the percentage gain is 7.87 which directly means that you will be adding if you train with pass go and shoot you will add 7.87 uh, percentage more to that uh, player which means it will overall it will come up to 98 if you use that drill alone okay you can use t that drill till 98 that is what it means okay so and on the right side you can see 39.93 percentage gain per skill which simply means with passing you will get 100 and again uh, with 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 uh, you know shooting you will get again another 39 can be added there okay and with speed also you can uh, uh, add another 39 there so that is the basic idea how much more skills can be added per drill okay so that is what that means and in the bottom you can see that you know there is one uh, there is one red um, shown there the long run is actually shown in red which means that if you train with long run you will not gain any skills with that drill okay that is what it it, it signifies indirectly it means that so watch out for those you know when it turns red according to the skill that will turn red okay so now the third column which is the drill stab okay and this is actually uh, you know uh, whatever drills you have is actually given here based on the experience points okay and uh, the numbers what you see here is actually direct correlation of the experience point which will be gained per skill when you train using that drill okay if you use pass go and shoot you will gain 0.8 on passing 0.8 on shooting and 0.8 on speed okay so that is what it means so based on your your player okay you have to actually kind of you know um, decide what to do you if you if you have to train an st some of the some of the you know uh <coughs> some of these skills will be grayed out so what you have to do is you choose whatever role you your player has if it is an st choose an st if it is an st amc amr choose that okay now if i'm training an st you click on st and you apply so what happens is all the skills that you don't require will be grayed out okay so my computer is really old so that is why it is taking this much time so if it is a faster computer you will gain really you'll you know you'll you'll complete this really fast so my computer is really old that is why so uh, likewise if you if you were to train an st all the grayed out skills will be shown there and uh, whatever drill you want to use you can avoid by choosing uh, in the proper drills without without grace okay so i will go with pass go and shoot because now everything is white there is no problem there now again i will go with skill drill okay now again you can see uh, everything is white again there is no problem now we have to cover for fi uh, finishing and shooting so i'll go with uh, you know mm, shooting tech so now your shooting and finishing is also covered along with the strength so everything is covered right now except for positioning so now i have to find a drill which avoids gray and you know gives you that uh, positioning drill so looking in the drills column you can choose um, use your head so that gives you all white right so now looking back you have covered everything no grays are added and you know you can train an st without uh, putting any gray skills so what i recommend doing is you know you shouldn't train all this all the drills together because if you can see the the experience values are quite different now with shooting tech it is 1.30 so and the others are 0.43 to 0.8 so shooting tech will run away you know th the the shooting and finishing will be gaining really fast so what you do is you know you actually uh, don't train all the drills together you train each drills individually 
okay so you kind of you know you kind of uh, note down all the drills what you what you have here you you note down in advance and then you train each drills individually okay because you can see from the experience value you can see that you know uh, skill drill is only 0.43 and the others are you know so that will be very slow so what you do is you note down all the drills pass go and shoot skill drill you note down whatever drills you have to do and then you train each drill individually like you know if you are to train pass go and shoot you uh, do passing when it reaches 100 stop it and then come to skill drill and when dribbling reaches 100 stop it and likewise you have to go with use your head when you use positioning you know when it reaches 100 stop it so continue like that otherwise you know the 180 rule will kick in early and you will get a player who is actually like you know with 340 shooting and you know uh, 90 passing you don't want a player like that so be careful about that uh, it has to be trained in an order okay so look out for that and be creative in choosing your drills okay now with third sheet what you have is your um, you know skills and rest now this is uh, a carry forward of what you have from the previous sheet okay now whatever drills you chose chose in the in the last sheet will be carry forwarded here and all will be tallied here now here also you have these yellow columns so you can add all the details here and the quality based on the quality you know this is still not complete in fact because you know um, the every player is different now all these drills will be carry forward back there okay now every player is different and the quality or, or the training capacity which each player has is is slightly different so that is why this is not complete and this is this works for a fast trainer that's all i can say so from the other drills all the you know from the other sheet all the uh, drills will be carried over and if you repeat those drills uh, like say 100 times the number of skills you gain will be shown here okay like you know mm, uh, you will get a positioning uh, a positioning skill 5 and he 9 heading skill uh, 18 uh, 17 you know likewise whatever whatever drills you uh, whatever skills you have in the last sheet will be carry forwarded here at an expense of 40 respects and whatever total skills you gain is 88 so write down all the fill up all the yellow columns and you can use it for reference okay because you know uh, this will work uh, th this will not be an accurate value here simply because like you know like i mentioned uh, every players you know quality factor is different and the quality of the player actually varies with respect to so many factors like age uh, uh, and you know if you are to train a 27 year old then the quality factor is very very high so every time this this factor changes and every player is different in this game so that is why this is not accurate uh, i am actually creating an expression to actually make it right so uh, in the future versions i will give you a better one where, where you know you can project exactly now the last sheet is your goalkeeper tab and uh, this is very much similar to the other drills tab what you saw you can choose the drills avoiding grace okay and uh, be creative on choosing your drills okay uh, the the idea is to avoid your grace right so that is about this excel sheet and oh yes we have to deal with the password so now when you open you have this password this is the password and what you have to do is you will have to remove the password okay and you can see in file when you go to file you have this you know protect workbook column okay what you do is uh, you go to the uh, protect workbook column and then you click that okay so now you will see that tabular column you delete whatever password is there and then you press ok okay and then you save then you save the sheet so that now you can use this without password every time you don't have to enter the password so uh, i hope all of you saw the password which was written below okay so do that okay so that's it with the excel sheet and once again i have to thank everybody for the for helping me achieve this milestone 
and you know before uh, when you open no you have to enable this macro okay macro for the excel sheet otherwise this will not work and this will work only in a pc okay and i don't want to take complete credit for this excel sheet because i down downloaded the first part from internet and whoever made it actually did a brilliant job uh, i had to take some online lessons for excel vbr or you know um, macro controls learn the language of it so that i could change some values some values were actually you know not up to the mark so i had to change a few values so i took some online lessons and actually changed the values so uh, be sure to enable the macro macros and uh, you know you can use this excel sheet for to train a better player okay so thank you guys once again for the amazing support you guys have shown and uh, helping me with the milestone and thank you iceman for all the support you have shown me so that's it guys that's it from this week this is justy signing off from charlie's diary take care